Hey there, YouTubers. Thanks for tuning in. Stan Stern with Excel VBS Fun. There's another inventory management system. This one is written by Chris H. So we're going to review that a little bit. I'm not going to get into all these other tabs so much because the real meat of this program is to we're going to use these SKU numbers to test this project. So we'll use this one, the 562 892. This is, um, remember the goal here was to be able to add or subtract from the inventory and have it to show how much you have currently. So in this one, he's actually moving um, from one location to other and trying to keep track of the inventory there. So let's go ahead and click on receive and move product. That's this one here. And so you see that we have this inventory and display and manual move sheet. So let's enter the SKU that we talked about, 562892 and we need to enter the number that we're going to receive or move somewhere so let's enter 10. Let's click on submit now SKU 562892 is not in the inventory. Do you want to receive this product? Yes. Now it's been received so let's enter that again 562892 click submit and it'll bring up the calculations so it says that it is received into dock 2 the receiving dock 002 so that is what currently has the 10 quantity now this took a little bit of um, fiddling around with um, maneuvering to uh, to figure out but uh, essentially you click on from from this location here on this row to and let's say let's pick a location let's pick PA 000 excuse me PA 001 and we're going to we got to type in here how many we know to move so we have 10 we see in the receiving dock let's click 5 okay we want to move 5 from here to the PA001 if I click on calculate it'll show us a preview of what that's going to do now only if I click update move will that go ahead and validate that and do that for me if it doesn't it this is just a you know a preview so let's click update move and say yes now if I type in 562892 and hit submit it shows us that the receiving dock has 5 and PA001 has 5. Now let's say that I wanted to add a couple of this 5 that I have in the receiving dock to PA, uh, PC001. Let's try that. Let's click on 2. I want to move from here from the receiving dock to here but it's not the same. It's not PA001. It's now PC001. Let's click on calculate. So um, while this is true that this would be 3 that is still in the receiving dock, um, the PA001 should still have the 5 and I guess the PC001 would have 2 in this case. So I think if I think that I, I, I may not understand it right, but I think that might be a, a, a minor oversight. But nonetheless, this is a pretty cool program. Let's click Update Move and see what happens. So let's type 562892 uh, and hit Submit. So we see that there is now 7 in PC001. If I click PA001, and let's see if I can hit Submit. Okay. So, um, and maybe this pick location, I don't, maybe these are all the same location or something. Um, let's try taking two more from our from our receiving dock 002. Let's take two more quantity and let's try to take it from here and let's remove it down here. So reserve number one, let's do RS01B. And I don't know what that is and I don't know what that is necessarily, but let's hit calculate. Uh, please enter reserve location. Um, oh, well, let's, I don't know, uh, Hmm. I'm not sure what to do here. Let's see. ASD. Oh, well, okay. So it will allow that. So let's click on update move and uh let's see what happens. 562892. Hit submit. So it says that ASD uh, of this one has 2. Um now if I type RS02A, does that change anything, I wonder? Hit submit. Okay. Calculate. Let's see, let's enter one more into RS02 or RS03B. Um and then make this one one one. 
and we want to enter the final one that we have in our receiving document. Let's click this and take it to here. Click on calculate um, and that would okay maybe reserve one is just one thing and for some reason there's subheadings or something anyway if I update the move 562892 submit so it looks like uh, we've distributed everything to the pick location and reserve one lo uh, location here but maybe not as specifically one of these drop down things because they all seem to think it's the same thing but uh, overall um, that's a good user form and there's lots of other thing on, things on here he's got quite a program here a move history he's got letdowns and other such uh, forms and this is uh, just just all kinds of things here that he has uh, painstakingly uh, programmed into this program and uh, in fact I think he may have done this as a job for someone uh, it might have been someone else I'm thinking of but um, this one opens up two tabs and they auto hide and the instructions are located here so I, I honestly I didn't read all that as well as I probably should have but I think we get the gist of it is you click on here and you do all that anyway uh, remember to click like if you want to vote for this video as the winner of the contest you can click like on all of them for a like here just um, click like and be sure and put your comments um, in the video and uh, there will be more. So thanks for watching. God bless.